Those are the rocky steps behind me. This is the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Good spot to talk about Christian McCaffrey hitting the thousand yard mark. He's over a grand this season. Nobody else is even over a hundred. Derrick Henry and Raheem Mostert, the former 49er, are numbers two and three in rushing yardage. So, you know, the way this is setting up to me, I think you could even say maybe the most likely outcome is that Brock Purdy is gonna win the MVP and Christian McCaffrey is gonna win offensive player of the year. Obviously, Brock Purdy is the most valuable player on the 49ers. You saw the difference between this game against Philly and last year's game against Philly. But Christian, he might be the best guy on the Niners. Well, they might have 10 other best guys too. Debo Samuel was pretty damn good yesterday. That connection though between Purdy and McCaffrey on the wheel route, CMC told me that they drew up and discussed an adjustment to the route on the sideline right before they ran that play. And then it was a full trust though. Purdy threw it before McCaffrey even made his move on Nicholas Morrow, the linebacker. That is a Hall of Fame level connection. That's Montana to Rice kind of stuff. There's a reason why I think some people discredit the 49ers and they say, oh, well, it, it's too easy. It only looks too easy because they're so damn good. They make it look easy with the cohesion that McCaffrey and Brock Purdy showed on that play. So McCaffrey's over a thousand yards rushing, but his most impressive play yesterday was a receiving play. This goes to show you the adaptability of the 49ers offense. I mean, McCaffrey and Debo Samuel, they're the two most interesting offensive weapons, the two most unique offensive weapons in the game today and they completely exposed this Philadelphia defense, completely. 49ers have respect for the front four of the Eagles. They don't have a lot of respect for the back seven, the linebackers in the corners. McCaffrey and Samuel made that be.